Hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing, man? I'm doing so good today. Hopefully you guys are doing fantastic. Today, we're doing a highly requested build. I've been getting so many comments of people asking me to build a windmill. I haven't built one in a while and this one actually, I think it's my personal favorite all-time windmill. So you know what? Let me flip, let me show you and we'll start building this in a second. Bam! Look at that. There we go, baby. Yeah, it looks awesome. I love this style. It's a little more on the fantasy side of things, but I think it goes really good with any medieval town also. A lot, a lot of brokenness to it, a little bit of rusticness to it. Uh, I love the blades too. Uh, we added uh, so many different variations of blocks in those blades to make it look just a little bit more standout, <laughs> you know, not just your typical old blade. And I love it. I love this style. I love this build. But you know what? Let's start building this thing right now. All right, and here's the palette we're gonna be using. We're gonna be using a lot of mixture of stones for that bottom base. So we're getting some cobble, some stone brick, some stone in there. We're bringing a lot of oak, we're bringing all the oaks. We're bringing oak log, the stripped oak, we're bringing the oak planks, the oak stairs, the barrel, the spruce family's coming along. We're gonna bring a little bit of birch, fence that's it no more birch uh, a little bit of the white wool some bush and some uh, grindstone action and let's get this started right now all right and check out the dimensions this is pretty much the base right here super simple let's count it out we're gonna do it all out of stone brick for now and then we're gonna make it broken up into rubble like this but let's do it very basic so right here let's count blocks so we're gonna go up by two on all of these so one two three four five give it a little space right there go up by five as well on this one and then up by five on this one as well, and then up by five like uh, so, leaving that little gap in between all these little corner bits, just like this. Now, to make it easy, I'm just gonna fill in this flooring right now. All right, here we go. Now let's grab some cobble. I'm gonna do this out of cobble only first, as you can see it really good, and then we're gonna texture after. So right here in this corner, let's go up by one and two, and put a stair just like this. Let's repeat that over here. So one and two, stair just like that. Let's go with upside down stairs, one on each side, Let's go with a row of full blocks right here and another row of full blocks right there. I'm gonna put a stair upside down here and a stair upside down right there. Now, let's do this on every single side. All right, perfect. Now, we have this on every single side wrapped around like this, but you know what? Next up, let's go down here in the center, right on this little corner bit between these two. Let's put a log and let's just go up just until this goes one over this block right there, just like that, for now. Let's just go up, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's go here, one, two, three, four, five, and six, and one, two, three, four, five, and six, just like that, for now. Then, you know what I wanna do? Before we keep going, I wanna texture this a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come in here, give it a little smooth stone, regular stone like this, and just wrap that around. So we're gonna do this just in random spots. It doesn't have to be exactly where I'm placing it, but it actually makes it look really, really good. A little more rustic if you texture it up just like so. Then I'm gonna also bring in some of the stone brick and break it up as well, just like that. And it looks so much better than just plain old cobblestone, right? Doesn't that look awesome? So I'm gonna do that all the way around just like this. Also, uh, let's bring in some of the variants of stone brick as well on certain stairs that we just placed down. So we're gonna go around. And this is how I do my texturing. So something like this, make it look really, really run down. So let's go ahead and there you go. That looks pretty good. All right, now for the next section, we're gonna get some pop-out logs. We're gonna pop it out on every corner bit of those logs you see right here. We're gonna swing this all the way around like so. Then in the middle gaps here, we're gonna put three barrels on every single one of these like so. Then next up, I'm gonna put some of these walls here, some stone brick walls on the corners just for added detail. And then we're gonna start lifting up these blocks here. So right now, let's do this. Let's go right on the inside here and we're gonna lift this up. One, two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And one, two, three, four, and five. Just like this on that side. We're gonna bring in these logs. I'm gonna pop up, up right on top of the logs we placed already on these little pop-out areas, just like that. Then I'm gonna grab some stairs of our spruce. I'm gonna place those on top of the exposed log pieces we see right here. Then I'm gonna grab some slabs. I'm gonna place them right on top of those and a trap door in the middle. So let's go slab, slab, trap door, and then keep going all the way around till it looks like this. Uh, no, like that, <laughs> perfect. All right, now let's go on the inside here. Let's put a log going this direction right here going this direction another one here 
and another one here hiding those barrels. Then we're gonna start lifting up blocks. So what I'm gonna do is, let's just lift this up right here. We're gonna go up with one log here. Then we're gonna go with a, uh, so let's go with stripped, only stripped for now. So one, two, three, four. Let's go with one, two, three, four. Let's go with a placeholder block, put that on top, get rid of that, and just leave that there for now. Then let's go on this side. We're gonna go up again. So one, two, three, four. Then we're gonna go, this one is gonna get covered up. So we're not gonna put a window here. So one, two, three, and four. Then we're gonna go up again. One, two, three, and four, just like that. And then cover up that section from that side. Now this one, don't put anything on that. I'm gonna show you what to do for that because we have a little drop down. So we're gonna make it look really cool. Now here again, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna put a log here, placeholder, put a log right there, and there's another window right here. So don't put anything on this side. Actually, if you want, we could put just a, a spruce for now. <laughs> You'll see. We're gonna use this as a nice little spot for details. So put spruce here, put spruce right there. Then let's repeat this one here as well. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna go up one, two, three, and four, and then cross right there. Then the pop out is gonna go right on this edge right here. So for now, let's go out one, two, three, four, and five. Right here, matching, right there, perfect. So leave that there for now. Then next up, what I wanna do is let's put some upside down stairs right here. Upside down stairs here. So leaving a little gap in the uh, space right there. Upside down stair, upside down, upside down here, here, and there, and one more right on that side. So that's going all the way around, looking pretty cool. Then let's work on the roof first, and then we'll go ahead and do the windmill, the star of the show. All right, now let's start it right here, but we're gonna do it all on the stone brick. Later on, we're gonna texture after by adding regular uh, some stone on that and make it look really, really cool. But for now, let's do it like this. So a stair facing downwards right here. We're gonna put an upside down stair right on this end. Then we're gonna come on this way. We're gonna put some pop out logs. So a pop out log here and a pop out on that one. Then we're gonna put a stair, uh, well, a full block, sorry, right here. Then a stair, upside down stair here, full block on top, stair up top right here. We're gonna do a little pop out log, so a placeholder, and then bring it down this way. And that's looking pretty cool. Then let's go with a full block on top and a stair this way, just like so. Then on top of that, we're putting a slab right there. That's looking pretty cool. Then let's repeat that on this side. So upside down stair, full block, stair on top, upside down stair here, full block, stair right there. That is looking awesome. Then watch this, we're gonna put slabs here, one down and one above, just like so. So let's repeat this thing on the other side. All right, there we go. Now let's work on the middle and this is gonna be super simple. Watch this, we're just gonna grab slabs. We're gonna put one here, here and there. Then I'm gonna grab full blocks. I'm gonna put two full blocks here, two here, a stair on top of that one, a stair on top of that one, and in the middle, I'm gonna put a slab in there, just like that. Now, let's repeat this on the other side. We're gonna go with a, well, let's do the slab first. So slab, slab, and a slab here. We're going with two full, two full, one stair, one stair, and a slab in the middle. Now, let's do this. Let's go on the inside here, and we're gonna do some placeholders on this thing, just so you won't see any of this when the swoop down comes. So, let's put a full block placeholder for now. Drop a full block here, full and a full. Let's do it again, so placeholder. Put that down, get rid of that, two fulls, just like so. And let's go underneath here, put a slab, and put a slab, just like that, and that covers up V blocks so you don't see in the inside, just like so, that's perfect. But we're gonna tweak a little bit, so we'll, we'll, we'll start working it out. Now, watch this, right here on this side, we're gonna go with a full block and a full block. Then we're gonna put a stair here, a stair here, another full right there, and a slab in the center, just like so. Now, let's repeat it on the other side. So we're gonna go with full and a full, two fulls, stair on top, stair here, and a slab in the middle. Now, to cover this little piece out, super simple, just put a slab underneath that little gap, just like so. Then, we're gonna work on this little top portion right here, which is super simple. We're gonna put a stair right here, stair right here, slab, and a slab. Then, we're gonna grab a trap door, and we're gonna swing this trap door all the way around, and that right there is your roof. Look how cool, isn't that awesome? Now, really quick, let's texture it a little bit. And texturing all done, check that out. So we add a little bit
bit of the stone around here scatters some stone slabs stone stairs and regular stone brick and that gives you that rustic look which looks really really awesome now one little thing i want to do is just grab a slab i'm going to put a slab right there on that little gap we're also going to put another one right here on this gap now this empty space we're going to make it really really simple we're just going to grab trap doors and we're going to put them on the inside so one two one two three and one and two and they just seal that off just like that Let's do it again on this side. So one, two, one, two, three, one, and two. Oh no, uh, hold on, and two. Perfect, and let's close that off right there. And this is what it looks like from the outside, right there. That's awesome, I love that texture, so cool. Then, next up, let's come in here and add some of the texturing on these right here. So it's not all uh, just the strips. I wanna come in here and just give it a little bit of just oak plank. You don't have to do this part. I think it just looks a little bit better right there because we're texturing everything after all. So that looks awesome. All right, time for the windmill. So let's start counting these blocks again. So this is a one, two, three, four, five. So on the fourth one right here, we're gonna grab some barrels. We're gonna face them this direction on all of these. So the texture looks just like so. Then let's grab some of the oak logs and put those on the edges, right at the ends of those barrels, just like that. Then let's grab our logs. I'm gonna put a little placeholder here and put a block facing upwards right there. Then let's do another little placeholder here, block facing this way right there. Let's do another placeholder here, block facing down like so. And then one more little placeholder here, block facing outwards like so. So this is gonna look just like this for now. All right, cool. Then let's grab some of our oak stair and let's start playing around with some blocks here. So for now, let's put an upside down stair here and then let's put two stairs, one here and there, looking just like so. Then let's do it again over here. We're gonna put an upside down stair on that and then two blocks, two stairs facing this way and another one facing that direction, like that. Then let's do it again. So we're gonna put one facing down here and then this is gonna go right there and there, upside down, looking like so. And then we're gonna do one more. Let's put upside down here and another upside down there and then another block facing inwards, like so. So this is what it's gonna look like for now. Then next up, we're gonna grab some trap doors, some spruce ones, and we're gonna put two on that end right there at the end of that blade. We're gonna go with two facing this way on that blade. We're gonna put two facing this way on that one, and then two facing right here underneath like that. Then let's grab our birch fences, and really simple, we're gonna go down one and two on that, one and two here, one and two there, and one and two right here. Gives you a little bit of contrast right there. And if you want, you can finish it off right there. That looks pretty cool, but let's add a little more detail with the white wool. So let's go to the back. So for the spots where I wanna put the white wool, it's gonna be super simple. We're just gonna do this. Follow wherever you have those fences right there. Follow the fences, just right behind the fence and right behind these fences right there. Then I'm gonna follow now wherever we have the stairs right here. So one here and one there. We're gonna come this way. We're gonna put one here and one there. And then we're gonna put another one right behind these stairs. And then last but not least, let's put behind those stairs. So that's super simple from the back. It looks like this, but from the front, it gives you that pop of white in the back, which is really, really cool. Then next up, let's grab some of the trap doors. And we're just gonna go around right here with a trap door and one down below. We're also gonna grab a button. I went with a spruce button. I'm gonna drop that spruce button right on that. Now, just to add a little more detail, right here, I'm gonna grab trap doors. I'm gonna spin this around here, so it kinda looks like this is almost like a gear. It kinda turns it on that side. And there you go, that is our windmill, completely done. What do you guys think? Is that a cool design for a windmill? I like it, I like the way it came out. Man, let me know what you guys think. Now, let's just add a bunch of details. All right, detail number one, every single one of these exposed log pieces, we're gonna put a spruce button. So let's go ahead and just go around here, look for every single exposed one, and we're gonna pop that button, looking awesome all the way around around just like so. Now, once we have this taken care of, next little bit of detail is I'm gonna put little flower pots on top of these walls just to make it stand out a little more. I love that, it's a cool little style. And then I'm gonna drop some hanging lights underneath those walls just to give it a little bit of illumination in this area. It looks really, really cool. Then let's grab some windows and I'm gonna put some of the white glass here, white glass here, and then some shutters right here on one side and then we can do it maybe on the opposite side over here. That's looking good. Now, next up, let's do something really cool that I, I, I think this is the first time I've tried this. Let's put a log right here. Let's go out one and two. Let's grab some of these of, of the grindstones facing upward, one here 
and then twist it, put another one there, and then we're gonna hang a light from there, and that looks like a little chain. Isn't that cool? I love that. This is a little new thing I'm gonna be incorporating in certain builds. That is super awesome. Then I'm gonna grab some trap doors and just swing it around here. We have ourselves a nice little hanging light from a chain right there. Now, next up, let's grab some of these trap doors. I'm gonna put these trap doors on the inside here. So this is gonna be our front door, right? This one right here. But this is how we're gonna do it. Let's lift up one and two. One and two, grab the other kind of trapdoor, the oak kind, and we're gonna do this. So let's do a couple placeholders and drop those here. Get rid of those, and we're gonna put our door right there. Then I'm gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and we're gonna have this little spot. Actually, get rid of that one. Let's make this into our uh, window right there. We're using that trapdoor, the oak trapdoor is a window. So one, two, three, one, and uh, two, and three. Come up three, let's do it again here. One, two, three, one, two, three, drop that one and there, and then just seal those up. And this is our brand new window design, which I love right there using the uh, oak trap door. Nice, now, now that we're in here, let's do some stuff. So next up, what I wanna do is let's grab some stairs. I'm gonna go with some of our spruce stair. I'm gonna put this design here. So let's put these facing downwards right here, all the way around, just like so. Then I'm gonna put upside downs on these right here, going all the way around, just like so. Then, watch this. We're gonna make this look cool, but this is how we're gonna do it. Let's go down here first. Let's knock down this little area right here, and we're gonna put some of our stairs, and this time we're gonna be doing our stone, um, stone brick. So we're gonna go all the way around like so, give it a little design pattern going all the way around like this. We're gonna grab our log, and gonna go down all the way here. Once we get to about this log point right here, this is where I'm gonna change it up. Now, first off, we gotta figure out where the pop-out is. I think it's right there, right? Okay, perfect. So we're gonna take this out right here, and we're gonna do a little cool design on this one. So let's grab our grindstone. I'm gonna put this grindstone facing this way, grindstone facing this way. We're gonna grab a log. Let's actually take this one all the way up, and then this is gonna go all the way to the roof like so. And then we can actually bring that down right there so it can connect. But then I'm gonna grab a stair. I'm gonna go like this. Let's give it a little bit of a design. I'm gonna put a stair here and a stair right there. Up on the top, that's kind of blocked off by that. But that's the most you can really do up here without really messing with it too much. But these grindstones look kind of cool, right? Now, this doesn't really work, all right? This is not a workable thing. I just wanna make it look cool. So what I did was I got rid of this one here. So right above that two and three and then i went with a little bit of a chain again so something like that like that and like that going all the way down i'm gonna also grab a barrel and i'm gonna put a little barrel on this little gap right there just to make it look cool and i think it looks awesome just gives it a cool little style and you can imagine maybe this starts twisting and turning uh, totally not functional but it looks cool okay it looks cool then another thing that I, I did over here is i went in and i wanted to use this texture somewhere i got the smithing table and i just put it right up against the walls here just like so put a little bit on this side as well and a little bit here just to make it look cool and different and i kind of like the way that texture looks on the bottom we can even come in here and give it a little bit of other textures so it doesn't have to be the stone brick and just come in here and just add those down below like so uh, and that looks pretty simple or pretty cool another little bit of detail is if you wanted to put some storage uh i would replace maybe these as you don't see from the outside and make barrels out of these going all the way around and that looks pretty cool. Then we do need some lighting here. So what I did is I grabbed some glowstone uh, and I went ahead and I added them in just certain spots. So uh, what we could do is let's put a glowstone here and then grab our trap door and then just surround this right here. So you can have the glow, but then you have this looks like um, it's twisted here anyway. So that looks kind of cool. Uh, we can even add if you want another glowstone up top here. And just so it doesn't look a little awkward, just maybe put one right here and then just just around in a trapdoor again and you have these hidden glowstones on the top and you can put torches you can pretty much do anything up here but i left this clean and open really no way up you just look up and it looks pretty cool i think that looks really really nice all right now we need a way up here i'm gonna create this cool little rubble look around here so making it really really simple first thing you want to do is get some stairs so let's do stairs going up like this and you can texture it as well use a little bit of a mixture 
Then I'm gonna go up, oh no, I'm gonna go up by two here and one here, two here and one there. So that's your way up, you're done if you wanna leave it just like that. If you wanna make it look clean, I will maybe just do, let me show you a clean way, just in case you guys want it really clean. If you want it really, really clean, I'll just do something like this, really, really simple. And then on the tops here, I would probably put just a little stair and wrap around this stair, just like this, going all the way around like, oh, like so. There we go. And then on the corner bits right here, I should get rid of that. I would put a, uh, a wall. If you want it clean, do it like this. Nice and clean, perfect, and you're done. But if you wanna make it look cool, like that, <laughs> let's do it. All right, let's make it look beat up. So let's start lifting some blocks. Let me do everything out of cobble first. So we're gonna do cobble right here. Let's do a little bit of a lining here. Let's do a triple, maybe one there. Let's go over here, let's go one, two, three, four, five, something like that. Let's bring that up. Let's bring a little bit of a platform up here, but then take this around and down. Then let's grab some slabs. I'm gonna put some slabs here, maybe some up top like so. Let's grab a little bit of slab action right about here. And then let's also grab some stairs. And again, I'm gonna do it all out of cobble first and then we're gonna texture after. So let's do a little stair right there. Let's do some stairs coming around like so. Let's do a little full block. Let's do a slab here. Let's do a slab down there. Uh, and then that is looking all right. Uh, maybe another little bit of a slab there. Here, let's maybe lift this up a little bit like so. Grab a stair. Let's grab a slab maybe on that side. Maybe one slab here. And I think that's good, just like so. Then let's texture a little bit by adding some stone wherever we had some of that cobble, maybe a little bit over here, maybe some right here, there we go. Then let's also bring in a little bit of wall action every once in a while, maybe a wall there, uh, maybe a little wall right there on the side. That'll also look pretty cool. Then we can bring in a little bit of stone brick if you like as well. So let's do maybe switching some of this for stone, maybe some stone over here. Let's bring in this around, so something simple, just like that. Now, next thing you could do is add some bushes on certain spots. Maybe another little spot right about here. Maybe even a little corner and then maybe some like so. Also, things you could do is adding some barrels around here. Adding some extra lanterns also would do the trick. So maybe you could even put right in the front even. Uh, even right here on the side. Maybe even some up top here as well. And just maybe scatter some of that. Maybe even bring in a little bit of chest. Just make it look alive. Like something has been happening back here. Maybe a little bit of chest action. Maybe a little lantern in certain spots like so. Uh, you can even add some flower pots in certain areas as well. And this just adds to the detail. Just like so. Maybe another one up top. And just make it look alive, random, and totally your own. So something like this, that just does so much. Uh, maybe one more little chest, maybe a little chest st stack in the corner. But something like that. That's what you would do to beat it up, make it look nice, maybe add a little bit of mossy and stuff like that. All right, but there it is. That's all there is to it. We made a really, really cool windmill. Let me know what you guys think of this design down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Any other farming-like stuff you guys want to see? Maybe a silo, uh, maybe a, a water tower. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know any other builds you guys would like to see in an upcoming episode. And I'll be so, so down to do it. I love this build so much. But thank you all so much for watching. You guys have been amazing. And you know what? I'll catch you on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye. Thank <music> you.